Would you talk about the Louisville defensive pressure early in the game because you guys got behind so so early, could not get out of that hole until late. You showed signs of life, but what were they doing in that first quarter? Yeah, I mean, we scouted them. They're going to play pressure, physical defense. I don't think we matched their physicality, and that showed in the first half. And, you know, we talked about that. If we just need to play tougher, they were more gritty than us tonight, and I think that really showed. And it was hard to come back from in the second half. So, um, you know, obviously, like you guys mentioned, you guys did kind of have a couple second half runs there. And especially at the end, it seemed like your pressure was effective. Were you guys worried about kind of putting on that kind of pressure early on from tiring out? Or what made that change for you guys? I mean, once we realized we were down, we needed to turn up the heat somehow just to make some type of run to get back into the game. Um, as far as starting like that, that wasn't necessarily the game plan, but, you know, we were down, so we had to turn up the heat. What were the adjustments you guys made in the second half to improve your scoring? Uh, basically, um, just turn up our defense more so we could get more transition points. I mean, that's where we are very good at. And um, basically, Coach LZ, she drew up some plays for us to get some good opportunities at the basket. So the Virginia Tech start was slow. Obviously, the slow today was slow. Is there any connection or rhyme or reason to these slow starts? Um, I don't think there's a connection. I think we just got to be locked in from the start of the game. Could be some jitters, could be just, you know, playing in rut for the first time for some people. It's just different. But I think those are that's a fixable thing. So I think it, we can look at that as a positive thing. We definitely don't want to be a second half team or anything like that. But um, we're definitely going to learn from that. And I think, you know, moving forward when we get in these big games, we'll eventually be able to put those four quarters together. Just given the rivalry and the way it's gone, playing in Rupp, playing at Memorial, where would you all rather play this game every two years? Rupp. Rupp, without a question. Well, ladies, this is the holiday season. After losing this game, how eager are you to get back on the practice floor? Um, very eager. You know, I hate losing um, the team. We're not dis – we're disappointed. Um, we came here to win today. And um, we got to improve some things, rebounding. I know there's a couple times the ball went over my head and I should have got the rebound. And um, we're just going to improve, uh, take a look back at the film and try to improve and get better for the next game. Um, I mean, <laughs> Maddie's birthday is on Christmas, so you should ask her. Yes, it all matters. We're going to learn from it. And, you know, we're a very competitive team. So I think, um, you know, something Coach Eldy said is that in every category we either tied or beat them, but they shot 39 free throws and made 33. And that sucks. You know, when you look at that, you know, that was our game. And those are easy, fixable things to do. So it makes the loss even worse, even more bitter. But, you know, we're definitely going to learn from it. So we're very eager to get back on the floor.